What's going on, guys? So tonight we're going to do a showcase card on Grant Wood. A card I've been wanting to do a video on for quite some time, and I just have not gotten around to it. <clears throat> so this is the card I want to show tonight. Uh, it says, when played, your innovations of war in grand design cards. Wherever they are, gain plus 21 until played. And then if your deck has six or more arts and culture cards, give them an additional plus 21 until played. So potential for plus 42 until played buff. So very significant, <clears throat> very strong buff. So that's why we wanted to showcase that card. So let's look at the rest of the deck. We did a breakdown of... For a consciousness deck, so a 9-9 nine, nine split. And this deck says if you have exactly 9 arts and culture and 9 science cards, they're going to get plus 18 until played, essentially. So that is what we did. And then we stacked the deck up with a bunch of innovations of wars and grand designs. So let's check out some of our innovations. We've got the jet car. <clears throat> going to get that plus 80, so help us win. Uh, we've got Internal Combustion Engine, good card here. When drawn, your cards in hand cost one less for the round. And then when played, if you're losing the round, your cards in hand gain plus 15 this turn. We've got the Swiss Army Knife, there's good utility here. Uh, when drawn, an opponent's random card is going to cost one more. A random card in your hand gets plus 15 until played. And then if you're losing the round, we gain plus 15 for the round. <clears throat> uh, other inclusions we have GPS. So when played, if you're winning the round, your cards gain plus 10 this turn. And if you're losing, they gain plus 15. If you're tied, plus 20. We've got EpiPen, just a nice little energy gain. <clears throat> when drawn, this card loses 20 this turn. And then you gain that plus 3 energy for the round. We've got uh, Chlorine Gas as another one. Uh, it says all cards in both players' hands lose 20 this turn. And finally, we've got the Dreyfus Model 500. When played, this card gains plus 10 permanently, so just a big heavy hitter. Uh, we've got a couple ways for energy. We've got Ghost, giving us that option for plus 2. Uh, Art Deco. And we also have Dark Web in this deck, so we're going to get a lot of buffing from it. We've got the Hierophant, <clears throat> so we have exactly three tarot cards. So we take advantage of that. So we have the Fool. Going to give plus 16 permanent to our tarot cards. And then our last tarot card is King of Pentacles. So you really want to play him when you're winning the round. And then he'll lose 50, and your other two cards you play will gain uh, plus 50. We've got... Black Knight's going to help us uh, if we're losing a round real good. We'll just opt to try to uh, let him have it, play this on turn three of the round, and then going into the next round, we're going to have a nice plus 150 lead. So I like doing that. Uh, Archangel, just a really good card. You guys already know that. Hans Trap. <clears throat> when played, all cards in both players' hands lose 30 this turn, and then this card gains plus 60 permanently. So that's... Pretty much the deck, guys. I think I went over just about all the cards. So let's go take her for a spin, and we'll see what you guys think. It's been performing pretty decent for me when, I, when I've when i played it, so uh, I do like it. Definitely an unusual deck. But you guys know me. I like, uh, I like showing the unusual decks. <clears throat> let's just hope we can get some wins with it tonight. All right, combustion engine coming in, giving us a nice discount. We got our Fool. So this might be a good turn for Fool and Ghost at the same time. Start getting our energy. So let's do that. Oh, we ended up, we ended up beating him, though. Unfortunate there. I didn't think that would be enough to win. But you never know. We drew our Hierophant. Chlorine gas come in, hit 20 on everybody right there, if you guys were wondering. Let's do it like that. Combustion wants to be losing, so 
let's not play that just yet. Just in case we start losing on this. I figured we might be losing after that turn, but maybe not. Just extended our lead somehow. All right, there's our Grant Wood. We definitely want to play it. I think we are going to go for the win now, so let's play Combustion Engine. And we'll do our max here. Should be GPS. Let's see if we can pull this one out. There we go. You guys saw Grant Wood give a nice buff on all those cards there. <clears throat> Probably one of the biggest buffers in the game as far as overall until played power. I think, it, let's say, plus 42 it gives. That's pretty big. All right, so round one in the books. We take it. I'm going to drop Dark Web. I want to get that buff going. Could play King of Pentacles since we're not really winning or losing right now. Won't hurt us too bad. And let's play this so we... I uh, no. No, let's get Hans down. Yeah, I'll do it like that. All right, nice plus 12 from Dark Web. That was a good Bigfoot. He hit three. All right, off to a little lead again. Go ahead and do it like that. Should be a pretty big, big turn for us. Ooh, opponent had a good turn though. 520. Make that 550. All right, so we got a little catching up to do now. Kind of wondering if. Black Knight's the play or not. And just let him have it. Hmm. Otherwise, we do that. Might not be enough. I'm just going to roll Black Knight. I'll let him have this one. Just in case. Didn't want to risk it and then lose anyway. At least this way I get the plus 150 into next round. Which I'm fine with. Gives us a nice jump here. Still coming out hitting pretty hard though. It's a good turn for him. <clears throat> Starting to get all his buffs on his uh, primates now. There's our consciousness. Ooh, it got plus 50 on the round for the arena. That's good. Definitely want to play it this round then. He's keeping up with us. Surprising it since we had that plus 150 to start. So good thing we had it because he would have been beating us. Oh, there's that Grant Wood. Let's get another buff here. There we go. Chlorine gas looking strong now. And combustion engine. Let's just do those. It's going to be a good turn for us. <clears throat> he needs over 500 here. Ooh, he might get it. He did play Bigfoot here. Yeah, he sure did. That was a good turn for him. 
Well, dang, we had a, a jump with Black Knight, and he still got us. You hate to see that. All right, here we go. <clears throat> it's going to be a good jump for us on this first turn. That Primates deck's pretty strong. Definitely hitting really hard. There's my jet car. I think we gotta play it. Yeah, let's do it like that. Extend this lead out a little bit here. Sucks because he's gonna next round. He's probably gonna get that Bigfoot again, probably towards the very last turn of the game. So that could really help him win this game. Let's hold Archangel for next turn. Get GPS down. Is he just pulling back? Yeah, he's probably just gonna let us have this one. <clears throat> That's fine. Must have some good cards in his hand. Ooh, that card's expensive. Ooh, yeah, good jump on, on us there. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a tough last round, I think. I'm hoping he doesn't get that Bigfoot since he didn't play those three cards. That might have screwed up his rotation. It's going to be close. I can't remember when exactly he draws it, but it's right there. Four eighty-seven. That's yeah, going to be down to this last turn. Really wish I had jet car in hand, but right now, but don't think we get it. And we're, we're off by one card. I think it was. I think I played it with Dark Web last time, if I remember. Let me see. No, I played it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so we're off by. Yeah, we're off by a few cards. Alright, we'll see if it's enough. Gonna be close. Yeah, so he didn't get that big foot. Or he would have played it. Oh, very close. Oh my goodness. <coughs> well, that was a good one. Oh man. One by eight. I will take it. Alright, let's do one more. See if we can have just as good luck tonight. Trying to come up with some other deck ideas for you guys coming up these next uh, next week or two. Slowly starting to uh, round up cards and just trying to think of some good ideas. You know, I like to make some different videos for you guys and try to keep it original. Might do some more. Maybe I'll do some more uh, Discord decks from you guys. Uh, 
like you guys saw that one I did the other night from the wind scar. So maybe I'll do that again. Just try to find somebody else who would like to have a deck shown uh, on YouTube. And if you guys want to want, want me to uh, use any of your decks, just let me know. Drop me a comment. You can add me on Discord and uh, send me a photo of it, and I'll try to round up all the cards if I don't ha if I don't have them all. And I will give you the credit, of course, for your deck, and we can do a video on it. So just keep that in mind if any of you guys are interested in that. I don't mind doing that. Give something for, for my audience to, to see, you know. Excuse me for coughing still. I'm still still trying to get over this cold tonight. Just went out and uh, had my son's t-ball game earlier tonight. Our team kicked butt. I'm not just, just saying. They don't keep scoring t-ball, but if they were, we stopped. Our hitters were so much better than them. It wasn't even funny. Like It was like literally head and shoulders above this, this other t-ball team. So I was, uh, I'm the head coach, so I was impressed, you know. Anytime my team's kicking butt, I feel like I'm doing my part and I'm doing a good job, so it's always fun. There we go. All right, he played Testudo in turn two, so it's going to be expensive for his cards now. It's going to make him probably only play two cards, unless he's got some cheap cards in his hand. There we go. That was a good, uh, good discount there from Combustion. That's what we needed. All right, do we go for the throat here, or do we just play Ghost and get some more energy? I think we just go for the throat. I don't want to lose this round just because we didn't. <clears throat> yeah, probably a good thing we did. Would have been, would have been a lot closer. Yeah, he might have actually won if we had played Ghost there. So for those of you that didn't see, didn't see my video last night, go check out uh, the Snake Oil card, the, the one with the Snake Oil picture. That That is a cool deck. I don't, I've been playing that deck the most lately, and I am really enjoying playing Snake Oil. I don't know why. Like, when I first saw that card, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it or didn't think I'd like it very much, but... Uh, that card's really surprised me with uh, how strong it's been. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Or if you haven't already seen it. I think it was a good one. <clears throat> Fun little deck anyway. Only struggle I had, like I said, was against Drain with it. That, that was a, a tough one to beat. Those little Drain decks or taxing decks can be a pain in the butt. Like he's taxing us a little bit. All right, we got the lead back. There's our jet car. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't play three cards with it. So, thinking if I even want to play it. Maybe I just play Hans. That's going to minus 30 everything, so we have a good shot, I think, like that. Let's try it. Yeah, I, should, I was going to say, that should be enough. All right, there we go. This deck's doing good. Definitely uh, for an unusual build. It's uh, quite quite fun to play. That, and it's just fun when you win with a deck that's unusual. I don't know. That's the that's what I've always loved to do. I've loved to put the off meta decks in against the best decks and just try my best to beat them. I just I really enjoy doing that. That's why you guys see me play a lot of unusual decks all the time. Just because I really enjoy putting the screws to the best decks in the game. <clears throat> and then they're just scratching their head like, how did I lose to that? <laughs> always love it. 
when I was a Magic player, Magic the Gathering player, I used to love doing that. I'd go to the Friday night Magic games, my local game shop. They'd do, like, tournaments and stuff, and I'd be bringing all these weird decks, man, just making people crazy. I still remember, I think it was, uh, what the heck was that card? Um, dang, I'm blanking now. It was a mythic card, but it had all this crazy stuff on it, like... Basically, it would trigger one time each at the start of each turn. And then at the very last trigger, it would just lose you the game. So if you didn't if you didn't complete everything and somehow reset that card, you'd just lose. So it was awesome because, like, you'd have to, like, how can I get this bounce this card back to my hand so I can reset it, take advantage of all its craziness, <clears throat> and just try my best not to lose right now. Oh, he's rocking King Cobra in that deck. Look at this. <clears throat> I want to say it was like Dark Pact or something like that, but it doesn't sound right. I can't remember. Been a while since I played Magic. But I got a bunch of cards still, and once my kids get a little bit older, whoo, I'm going to be doing some cube drafting in the living room. Let's go. Who's playing cube tonight? Wait, did we just win the game right here? Did we just win? I think we just win right here. <coughs> yeah, that uh, Immortals deck just couldn't keep up tonight, huh? see a lot of people playing that deck. I mean, it's okay, maybe for new players, but definitely uh, not as strong as people are claiming it to be, I feel like. It's just another Sue Bones deck, really. But, all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And, again, if you guys have any deck ideas or anything you'd like me to showcase for you, drop me a comment, uh, add me on Discord. And, uh, again, if you like the video, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, guys. We're growing the channel. And thanks for watching. Have a good night.